Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. I am KMB Productions, or Crescendo. Today is concert day at the Concert Pub at North here in Texas. About to see some Texan death metal. I'm just out here getting some sunlight for serotonin and dopamine. I'll see you guys in a few. I am diving into the joy of metal once again. It is a Texan metal bonanza with the gathering of legends at Concert Pub North in Houston, Texas. Join me on the journey of uncovering the Texas metal scene with breakdowns, riffs, and whittlies all in a wall of sound and rhythm that will crush and blow you away. I was about 13, 12 years old, enjoyed metal, growing up with good bands like Morbid Angel, Dita Side, Cannibal Force, Obituary, Supplication, as well as well as a lot of Houston bands like Underground, Imprecation, Dead Horse, uh, you know, um, uh, Elias, EYUS, Anal Vomit, uh, Seven Dawn, uh, the Absolute Core, uh, a lot of underground band locals are friends of mine going to school and I actually grew up with these guys and went to high school with them and different different schools but they were all good guys. Uh, it's therapeutic actually. I mean without it it'd probably be locked up somewhere. <laughs> A lot of aggression gets out that way. What do you think? Uh, man, I love the pit. I love the whenever you feel it just start running into people and hitting the aggression. Like you said, therapy. Oh, it's, it's what saves my life every day, for real. So I work with engineering and it's very stressful. And for some reason, metal just calms me down every time. So now it's been a life of listening to all sorts of metal, but mostly fresh metal and death metal. Um, but yeah, so it just saves my life every day, for real. Quite therapeutic. How does metal bring me joy? Uh, you know, when you're at a metal concert and you just get lost, headbanging and rocking out and it's just you and the music and everything else in your life just fades away and you're just in that moment with you and the music and it's just this amazing feeling. It makes you just happy and just you, you really experience life in that moment. It's one of those things that you create memories and you know, you can hear a song on stage and you hear it on the radio or you hear it somewhere else and it brings you back to hearing it that first time and being there and witnessing it and music can change your mood in an instant. Why are these guys with ashes and shit? I don't know. I just Damn. feel different whenever it's play. Yeah, it's therapeutic. As they said. Oh, you know, it's, it's like therapeutic. Yeah. And then whenever, whenever you're playing, it's like... I just kind of wake up whenever the set is over, you know, and first there it is. <laughs> Thank you. 
We're on the topic of true or true black metal, which is interesting and mysterious. Pecatorum was the first to perform at Concert Pub North. For certain bands, I couldn't wrap my head around not having a basis, but that's just me. Sure, they bring out the true black metal despite not being from Norway. Okay, I'm just being a purist and elitist. Let's just stop it and move on. It gets all my frustrations with everyday life out. I love it. I love it. And uh, you got a favorite uh, genre of metal you like to listen to? I'm, I'm very much a death metal guy. Uh, you know, and kind of old school shit. Corpse, skim corpse, fucking D aside. Thrash. Thrash metal. Uh, you know, and the classics like Sepultura, um, Slayer, Metallica, of course. Uh, just to name a couple. And what about you? I like death metal, grindcore, uh, thrash, some black metal. I mean, it's cool. I like all the different types of music, so any type of music really doesn't matter to me. It's just something to listen to. Uh, yeah, Cannibal Corpse, Dying Fetus, Iron Maiden. Those are my favorites as well. Oh, Obituary, the list goes on and on. By far, growing up as a kid, one of my main favorites of music is The Doors. But it's really? metal, metal. One of my, my favorite bands has always been More Angel, Sepultura. Uh, just, got, just got to watch the Cavaleros do their thing the other night here in Houston. I think they bring it. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, it's just metal's way of life, you know? Still on the topic of black metal, we got Division Black Noise all the way from Laredo, Texas at the Mexican border. <laughs> another band that brings out the true black metal music all right we're gonna stop being elitist here where family metal is metal okay let's just move on to the thrashy side of things local here in houston comes a nihilist their way of thrash reminds me of the big four especially slayer when they performed they did a cover of metallica's fight fire with fire i wish i had footage of it but i missed my chance oh well on the death side of thrash, we have a local band from Houston, Texas, Lethal Agent, giving us a lethal dose of metal music. They bring out the Sepultura vibes with this one. Max Cavalier would be so proud. I actually like all kinds of music. I like metal, I like rock. I like a little bit of like psychedelics, I like Pink Floyd, like I'm a lover of all kinds of music. If it's good music, if they create it well, I'm there. So uh, he came out to see his play tonight and uh, he's in his own band right now and he's trying to get something really going. What they call, man? It's called Fit Longer, y'all should check it out. It's called Fit Longer, we got a new single out called Trickster. We're working on the new album, I think it's coming out probably uh, in the beginning of next year. We're crossing into death metal territory with Decimate from San Antonio, Texas. A solid delivery of Texas death metal. I'd imagine that they would have one of their songs playing on a Mondo film called Traces of Death. <laughs> One more death metal? You got it. Here is Pistemia Eternalist from Laredo, Texas. It is fast and it's raw. It reminds me of the 80s, 90s raw brutality like Cannibal Corpse or Suffocation. And now every time I go to a venue to see a show, the venues get pretty full. You know, so people aren't taking it for granted anymore because they know that Tomorrow's not promised for anyone, and it, can, and it can be taken away the way it was with COVID hit us. I mean, everybody was dying to see a show, get out the house, going crazy, being locked up in the house. Well, it's grown. It's grown in the past 20 years, at least, uh, especially in the last maybe five. Because whenever I was a kid going to the metal shows, it was very, it was hard to get, you know, honestly, it was hard to get a crowd, especially at the local venues, uh, where they're going shows for say the band down the street who you know just jams in the garage um, yeah it was just very hard back then and now there's people at pretty much every show for certain genres it's really good 
like for thrash and death metal. It's but a cool thing for, for black metal. There's not a lot of crowd noise. Like thrash and stuff, it's, it's really good. And everybody has like their own group of friends, so it's nice. It's time to take fast and raw up a notch with Cocaine Titans. Of course, besides blast beats, they got a blend of skank beat and groove. Their vocalist with the ski mask on reminds me of a porno grind band from Germany named Gut. <laughs> Here they are, the Cocaine Titans. Where's Dr. Roxo, the rock and roll clown, when you need him? Cocaine. You know about the Dr. Roxo, the rock and roll clown, I do cocaine jokes. It's over years. Let's get back to the interview. Like Jack and Thanks for the thing on the inside. Healthy. Brutal death battle. Beats of flesh. Simulation. Suffocation. Uh, technical death battle. Behemoth. Black Dyer Murder. Yeah. Keep it like that. Well, yeah. A little mixture of everything. I like some hardcore, you know, some fucking rain down. Or fucking death metal, shit like that. Uh, favorite bands? I don't know, man. Uh, shit, there's all kinds. Fucking Super Joint. Fucking like GSBs, of course, you know. Shit, all kinds, bro, really. Especially the locals, H Town all day, you know. Yeah, that's now it's 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 happening, man. People think the kids are beating all into it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a whole new era. It's fucking, it's cool. It's it working. It ain't dead. It's here. It ain't fucking dead. It ain't it's gone nowhere. Was me seen, seen it? Funny, yeah. I see it. More death metal on my plate. What am I trying to stomach now? Throat locust. Anyway, they're a straight-up death metal band from Corpus Christi. They're more on the groovy side. One thing I noticed during Throat Locus' set, the drummer has a Mario doll laying next to his drum set. Metalheads are nerds, after all. <laughs> The appetite is about to get heavier as Severance slices up the night. Why am I making corny diss jokes now? I digress. Their craziness and heaviness reminds me of one of my favorite metal scenes located in Bogota, Colombia. I like it, man. I've been doing it since about 2001. And uh, it's gone up, it's gone down, it's gone up, it's gone down. I feel like it's on the way up now because there's a lot of more clubs that are opening up again. Like kind of like in 2006, there's a lot more clubs opening up after we had the big downfall in 2002. Um, but I think the scene's getting back together. I think it's great. You know? Yeah. Well, we've had a lot of metal shows here in the We had a mortician a while back. I don't know if that's considered here in the metal world. It's actually pretty cool. I think there's, uh, I think thrash metal gets very slept on here in Houston, especially. Death metal has been, you know, no offense because I do love death metal, but the Texas death metal scene has been, you know, dominating. And I think it's time for it to grow and to be known for as many different genres. You know, there's, uh, and in Houston especially, there are bands who, who mix the styles, you know, not even just death and thrash, but like grindcore, black metal. Um, you know, hardcore punk. It, there's a lot of mixed genre bands. You know, you can't really put them in a in a specific category. That's tough to say because I like so many bands, but I can say for sure that maybe that that's probably one of the best because I am a Chuck Schuldner fan since the beginning. Uh, but I can I would never say that I had just one band because I listen to so many. Um, the Judas Priest, that all the big ones for sure. Um, also, I've been listening to a lot of prog metal, so Haken from the UK is one of my favorite bands. But yeah, so many. And speaking of progressive, it is time to enjoy a symphonic set with Epic Death. They remind me of a few symphonic black metal bands like Dimu Borgir, Septic Flesh, and Anal Nethrach. In my opinion, you'll know it's going to be a good band when both guitars know how to find the equilibrium between lead and rhythm. And now, the moment we've been waiting for.
for from the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex. <laughs> Crashing into Concert Pump North's Gathering of Legends is Prophecy. Their heavy sound has the reminiscence of Dying Fetus without being technical. It also reminds me of another brutal death metal band from Germany named Resurrected. <laughs> Fun fact about Prophecy, they actually originated from Louisiana before moving to Texas. Another fun fact, Alan, the bassist of the band, besides being a lefty, he plays the bass inverted. Honestly, I like how the frontman Drew is dressed up like he's a high class prat. It's like a way of saying who gives a damn about how we look in the metal scene. local bands that do a lot of good stuff here and we have a lot of good rock bars you know austin they're a little bit cooler they have but they have a lot of cover bands and a lot of uh, venues a lot of places you just have you go there you play pool you see a cover band uh austin though they they have really good uh, like what do you call that um a diamond in the rough you'll find like blue skies that play like i i feel like we kind of lack in some of that some of that like um what do you call that? Stuff that you don't get to see very often. I think Austin might have a better music scene than we do here in Houston. But I think the top ones for the state of Texas is Austin and Houston. We have great venues. We have a great metal crowd. Like, we're a metal family here. Everybody looks out for each other. Everybody loves each other. And we all we come out and we support each other. We build a family with your friends you got. Yeah. I'm a no news that he's pretty much born. Really? <laughs> Well, um, I, so I'm from Brazil, and I've been living here for the last six years, seven years or so. Uh, anyway, it's much better. I've been seeing um, bands from all over the, U the U.S. playing here in Houston. Also, like big old, old school bands that I would never imagined that I would see them play because back in Brazil they don't go to Brazil, right? Um, also, the underground scene is pretty cool as well. We have events like every weekend you can see something. So today my friends from Ed and Dan are playing um, and I'm here to see them play and all those events today as well. So it's pretty good. So what do you think of the metal scene over here in Texas? TXDM forever. Well, of course. <laughs> I said before, what brings you joy? Hey, 